You know, I was just thinking about some projects that we've done around the house here today. And there was one project that I had a great time doing, but it took so much homework and research on figuring out what to do that I figured, you know what, I should make a video for you guys to save you the time and energy going in to make this unique bathroom that we decided to do. So we had decided that we wanted to do a walk-in uh, without a curb shower. And uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around right now so you can see exactly what we did. So when you walk in our bathroom now, we wanted our shower to look just like that. Where we could just walk right into it, no curb, all tiled up, double, uh, double uh, shower heads, and nice and big where it was just wide open with a floor drain on it. So this project was, uh, you know, it wasn't that hard to do. It took a lot of time though to figure it out. And that's what I wanted to share with you. I used the Durarock shower system, which is really, really amazing. It worked out really, really well. You can see there is zero curb there. It is straight right across the floor, just like that, and tiled all the way up with the two heads on it. This Durarock floor system, it's a styrofoam base. I'm gonna put links in the, at the, uh, in the notes of the video for this. All we had to do was when we cut, we cut out the subfloor and then we notched out the floor joists so that then we could put the subfloor back down in a little bit lower so that then when we put our thin styrofoam, it's a styrofoam uh, wedge uh, uh, base that's wedged and, and uh, tapers down to the center. When we put that down in, it sat below the floor just enough to make up uh, for that styrofoam thing that tapered down to the floor drain. There's a floor drain system that comes with it. it it just goes right in and then there's like it looks like house wrap but it's waterproof and that's what you line your walls and your floor with for your secondary you know your your main i should say uh waterproofing the nice thing is that it goes over styrofoam which you know is waterproof and it's got a slight taper not a not huge taper you know sometimes when you're mudding your own base up you end up with a huge taper this is very low but it runs all right to that drain and then all we did was just tile up the walls. You can get the inserts for those uh, shelf things. I built mine myself instead just because I wanted to try something new. And then we put in uh, double things like that. So this is approximately five foot this direction and five and a half foot that direction. So we got the 72 by 72 Durarock floor system. And then I cut it down to fit the size that I want. They've got different size floors. You can look at them. If you follow the link you'll see one of them then you can uh, look at more of them I would tell you that I love this you know everything becomes a his and hers this became my wife's side this became my side the one thing is I'm six foot two so this wall let's see I don't even know how hang on a second let me grab my tape measure this wall where my faucet is is hang on is about 32 inches about 32 inches the one thing that I do notice is that when I'm standing taking my shower right there and I'm uh, Washing my hair. I do get a little tiny bit of water on that one tile Right there. So if that wall came out, maybe another six inches. It'd be better um, It's not a lot of water. It's very very little and you get very little anything out on this edge here so it's far enough away that you don't get a lot of water on the floor, which has uh, worked out really well. And uh, I had left this open like that because I wanted more space between the vanity and the wall for traffic flow. And that's why I did that. But this system worked really well. I highly recommend it and uh, goes right up together. If you have any questions, just ask me in the notes. I hope this video uh, saved you a lot of time and helped you. Have a great day, guys.